Hi all, this is uh, Sai Pranit from Informatica GCS. Today we will be discussing about one of the profiling concepts where we will be pushing down the profile into Databricks. Uh, we will go to the agenda. Uh, first we will discuss what is profiling and uh, what is profiling on native uh, uh, engine and what is profiling on Databricks and what are the supported source systems for uh, profiling on Databricks what are the prerequisites to do the push down on Pro Databricks and what are the required connections that needs to be created in the admin console and what are the changes that has to be performed on the LDM admin to run the profiling on Databricks what is profiling whenever there is a resource executed in ADC there will be metadata extracted into the EDC like tables, cor columns, views, stored process based on the metadata or the source type which is executed. And if we have data discovery enabled for the re same resource, it extracts the actual data by connecting to the source system and that data can be used to perform uh, uh, data domain discovery, what are the null values, what are the distinct values, similarity discovery, these things can be used. Uh, data will be used to get these values and what is native profile to perform these actions there is something called native engine uh, which connects to the uh, actual uh, source system and extracts the data so for that dis is used which is data integration service which is a service part of the domain and the to connect to the source system and to fetch the data and load into the load it into the profile warehouse we need a system resource and right now if we are executing it in a native profile mode the resources will be consumed on the machine where the data integration service is configured profiling on databricks whenever the profiling is configured on databricks we use spark engine that comes along passport of a databricks cluster this is useful when you are profiling delta tables or the parquet files that are coming as part of aws or azure cloud sources and here whenever the profiling is executed on databricks cluster the only the results are stored back on the profile warehouse and all the job all the extraction of the data and the transformation of the data is performed on the spark engine that comes as part of databricks cluster what are the supported source systems for databricks we use jdbc uh, resource type is supported to profile on delta tables and hdfs hive supports uh, delta tables profiling and AWS and ADLS uh, supports a Spark mode of profiling for Parquet files. We'll discuss about some of the prerequisites that are needed to run the profiling on Databricks cluster. First, whenever you want to configure your uh, profiling on Databricks cluster, we have to create a cluster configuration in the admin console and then create a connection on top of that configuration. I will show this in the demo and whenever uh, the profiling is going to be executed on Spark Engine on Databricks cluster, the profile warehouse of the DIS should be using a JDBC or JDBC version 2 connection. This is a prerequisite and the data integration service license should be having a power exchange for uh, JDBC version 2 license should be associated to the license which the DIS is uh, associated. And these are the some parameters that are uh, needed to be configured on the cluster of data bricks and they have to restart this one so these parameters has to be configured on the spark engine of that particular uh, data bricks and has to be restarted and then the databricks cluster user should have managed permissions on the cluster to run the profiling this uh, why we require the manage permissions is because uh, for the first time whenever the profiling is being executed on the cluster of the spark uh, it will install some of the li uh, directories and libraries that are needed to run the profiling 
as we will be using the uh, JDBC type connection to the profiling warehouse we have to copy the uh, JDBC uh, jar file for that specific database type that the profiling warehouse will be connecting to below directories that are in the point 2 so this is uh, because the jar file that are needed for the profile warehouse might not be available in the Hadoop file system that are needed for the connection. So we have to take this uh, copy the file from this location based on the database type and move those uh, uh, copy the jar file to the all the three directories below and install the Hadoop packages. So starting from 10.5.3. Uh, by default Hadoop directories are not shipped uh, for all the installations so we have to manually copy the file directories or the libraries that are needed for your specific uh, cluster or Hadoop uh, distribution system and then restart the catalog service once the catalog service is restarted we have to add this specific uh, uh, custom property for the dis and the jvm command line options to specify which uh, specific uh, hadoop file system should be used for the profiling connections that are needed for running the profiling on databricks so on the first we'll be creating a configuration called cluster configuration in the administ admin console uh, connections tab on uh, distribution type as uh, databricks will be giving all the cluster details and this will create a configuration that is needed to create a connection on databricks once the configuration is uh, ready we have to create a profiling connection using on type of that connection type whatever the connection co uh, cluster configuration is created on top of that we have to create a uh, connection or connection connecting to a specific uh, uh, connection type as a data bricks and then we will be creating our own uh, uh, profiling connection In the LDM admin side, whether we generally configure to run the profiling on uh, on the native, but because we'll be running the profiling on uh, Databricks, we have to select the Databricks and the Hadoop connection that is created in the admin console and the actual source connection where your metadata is residing. So this source connection is where the connection from the uh, database will be made. So this is where your actual metadata and data is stored. And this is where this is the connection that is used uh, to run the profiling uh, uh, on the Databricks Spark engine. Uh, let's look into the demo of configuring the connections that are needed for the uh, Databricks cluster and the configuration that we have to do it at the LDM admin. I'm logging into the admin console of uh, ADC uh, to show the dem uh, connections uh, that are needed for to profile uh, on the Databricks cluster. Um, so once the admin console is uh, uh, open, uh, we have to click on this connection step. On once we click on that, we will see something uh, like this, like uh, uh, cluster configurations. Once we click on that and click on uh, actions uh, new and select these clusters, we will see on uh, distribution type, and we have to select uh, Databricks uh, because we will be profiling it on uh, uh, Spark running on uh, uh, Databricks. So once we select that, uh, we can we have to configure that, configure the connection details for Databricks. So I have already uh, configured the uh, details that are needed for uh, uh, my Databricks in-house instance, and. Uh, uh, once while well configuring it will ask you to allow whether you can uh, have any connections created on top of this configuration basically this is a cluster configuration not a connection and to create to connect to this data bricks we will be using this configuration uh, to connect to data bricks so once this co configuration is created We'll click on domain and then we'll create a normal connection, uh, uh, Databricks connection on top of this cluster configuration where uh, we have created the uh, details with the cluster. So we'll be selecting that cluster configuration here and the connection type will be Databricks and this will be our Databricks uh, connection to using the Databricks configuration. These are the two connections that we'll be creating and uh, coming to the LDM admin. 
so this is a general uh, profiling that we'll have so i have selected the enable data di discovery uh, which is profiling and i have given all the details uh, dis uh, which will be used to store the profiling results uh, associated uh, with the dis profiling warehouse will be used and i have given all the details and if you notice uh, in general there will be a native connection if you are running on a native engine but here i am using a hadoop connection name uh, once i have selected my data bricks uh, uh, uh engine right it it will give me an option to select the data uh, hadoop connection and here i'll be selecting the connection that i have created on, on databricks using my cluster configuration so basically it's a uh, print underscore databricks i will be using that connection here and this will be my source connection name where my actual metadata or data that needs to be profiled is residing so we have to configure this and we have to run the profiling where the profiling will be uh, executed on the spark engine and the results will be stored on the profile warehouse associated to this dis uh, that's the demo um, so here i have given some uh, useful links uh, that might help uh, uh, when you are configuring uh, data bricks uh, profiling so the first link uh, talks about how you how uh, we can configure what is the performance uh, tuning that can be done when you are uh, uh, facing any performance issues uh, with respect to the uh, cluster and uh, there is a kbs uh, that uh, helps you to understand the what are the parameters and what could be other challenges that you would face when you are configuring the database uh, profiling so uh if you have any feedback uh, please update us on uh, support videos at informatica.com Thank you for watching the video.